Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming, and welcome to Transport Fever. This is a game I picked up a few days ago, and I want to jump into the campaign. There are two campaigns. There is the American campaign and the European campaign. In each campaign, there are seven missions, and I have, as we see here, I've played through some of these, and so, yeah. Anyway, what we are going to do is do the first mission in the campaign. The land of opportunity demonstrates your talent and rise to become the most powerful transport company in the most powerful country in the world. The future lies in the West. We will bring progress to this barren swath of land full of simple-minded country bumpkins and savage natives. But transporting the required goods is painstaking and expensive. A railroad from East to West, now that would be a real gold mine. But the competition never sleeps. The Central Pacific Railroad has already started construction on a line from the Pacific. Let's beat them to it and open up the Wild West. All right. In each mission, there are medals that you can get. These are like in-game achievements, hidden treasure, find the gold nugget, dry spell, take the route, pass all the wells in the desert, tool factory, act with foresight and build up a stockpile of tools as early as possible, beat the competition, May 1874, that is actually May 1st, 1874. As you can see, I did not in my last attempt beat the competition. And uh, happy investors, make your backers happy and never exceed your budget. You start off with $3 million in the bank and if you go at any time below $250,000, even if you are making a pretty decent income, you will make your backers unhappy. They'll be angry that you've thrown all your money away, even though you're on track to actually getting things done in time, done and done. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's start the mission. Welcome to the Wild West. It is the year 1864 and we find ourselves in the tranquil settlement of Cheyenne, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here. Our job, to construct a railroad line to the west. The first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather modest sum of money, but that'll have to do if we don't want to scare them off. If the competition carries on working at the current pace, they're expected to reach the goal before us. Let's spare ourselves this disgrace and get started. All right, so yep, yeah, five medals can be earned in this mission. Let's start the mission. If we want to beat the competition to the goal, we'll need more workers, and workers need feeding. Once the men are half full, this business with food could generate some extra income for us. All right, build truck stations at the Shan Farm and Shan Grain Storage. Construct a depot, yep. So that's what we are going to do, and I want to just stop time because I don't want time to be ticking. We are on a time limit. And what's annoying is, in this mission, and this is the only mission, you cannot build when the game is paused. I don't know why. Anyway, we are just going to build that there. And we are going to build this here. And now we want to buy a truck depot. And I shall just throw it right here. And now buy road vehicles. One horse wagon. We are going to set the line here, over to here. We are going to set this to follow any because reasons when a vehicle is waiting at a depot it costs only 40% to run so it is pretty decent although for some reason the game does feel a little bit bugged which means that uh, when you have a vehicle waiting it isn't counted in something to do with the line frequency or whatever and so Factories actually produce less, or rather, produce slower. And wait, let's take time up to speed three, just so we can get this mission done and done. And we have a production of 14, line usage of no. Shows if currently shipped or ordered items are transported on your lines. And there we go, we have four waiting for us, or rather two waiting for us. Four. And we'll just wait for one more. And 
and there we go. So what I'm going to do, we are going to just switch that to load if available. And now we are just going to call this RF for Road Freight Cheyenne Grain. And now I'm just going to keep this showing because I might want to throw on another vehicle. Actually, yeah, I'm going to want to. Cheyenne Grain. But for some reason, it wants to come here first. Anyway, by the time it gets back here. Let construction begin. In order not to fritter away our meager starting capital already on the first leg of the journey, it'd be sensible to choose a route that avoids costly blasting operations to build tunnels. Build the rail line from Shan to Laramie. The valley connects Shan and Laramie near the farm. That's a good area to lay tracks inexpensively. So yeah, right there. If we were to connect this through here, although, yeah, five million dollars to tunnel. <laughs> nope. So what we are going to do is we are going to go off in this direction. We're going to keep things as straight as possible and as you can see, there is a slight snap point which lets you know that the track is straight right there. And now I'm just going to, what you ideally want to do is build in short sections. It keeps the cost down because what happens is when you build from here to here, it'll try to keep the track level and add a even slope, so yeah. Now, let's just, now if we put on the contour lines, we can see the contour of the land and how this here is probably going to be our best Just go to about there. What we want to do is hug this corner. But not pay too much. As you can see, it's trying to keep this straight or rather on a very gradual slope. And that's not what we want. So let's come back to here. Although we might not get lucky in There. There. And just want to follow this curve. I'm trying to deform the train as minimal as possible. side let's first place our station we're going to want a passenger station we are going to want to head off to Rollins and we are going to want to come across the bridge so I'm going to put it right about where's Rollins Rollins is right over there and what's it doing there 86.5k and now I want to come from this end and now there is a slight hill here so what I'm going to want to do is 
we are going to want to go uphill. Spend the money. Yep. Right there. And 200k. anything less how was that uh, what we want to sure that's good we have 2.53 million left in the bank and we want to Gonna be good, yeah, that's gonna be fine. Alright, let's come back over here. Now that we know where we want to aim, we want to try to keep this as straight as possible. Right a bit there. Just connect this on to here. 21.2k. Sure. Wonderful. This one leg completed already. However, we're already encountering our first difficulties. It was very good of the government to place this land at our disposal free of charge. If it weren't for those damned Indians. They've pitched their tents right in the middle of our planned route. Our scouts seem to think they're rather displeased with the white man and his iron horse. And that's us. All right. So, what's this? Laramie's connected. We need to go off to Rollins, but first we need to deal with the Indians. Those damned Indians. They're sabotaging our work and are said to have physically attacked some of our men. We need to do something. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of equivalent value, which could get pretty costly, or we could settle it the old-fashioned way, which would probably cost us our good reputation in certain circles. Or else we could try to bribe them with fire water, although its consumption is known to make one rather aggressive. All right, and as it says, some decisions affect later events. If you oust the Indians with violence, what ends up happening is you will not be able to get this because they are the ones that know the location of the gold nugget. You can spend $200,000 to buy and exchange land, but we need to keep our costs as minimal as possible. That's not an option. Bribe Indians with fire water, basically alcohol. And yeah, it can cause problems, but if you take that into consideration, you can actually not have to worry about that. Because with this one here, act with foresight and build up a stockpile of tools as early as possible. If you normally, you have to only build like 10 tools. If you bribe them with fire water, you actually have to pay or you have to make 20 tools so yeah about that what we are going to do is negotiate with the indians and we're just going to bribe them with fire water now connect laramie and rollins all right so i am going to want to come this way and evanston is off in that direction and laramie's off in that direction so we are going to build a passenger train station we're just going to connect it on to this line here and we're just going to yep that's good for now all right now we just need to connect it with as straight a line as possible 
building trade, of course, allows you to save money. It allows you to shorten the distance and you get paid based on your straight line distance to your target rather than the actual travel that the vehicle actually takes. Now, uh, we'll go to here. And we just want to save as much as possible. Two point two seven million left in the bank. Oh, what we are going to want to do is start rotating in. And if we just connect that directly, it's a very minimal amount of changing the train. Yep, we'll take that. The problem with the Indians has been settled, but we've already encountered our next challenge. Before us lie miles and miles of nothing but bone dry step. We'll need to make sure we don't run out of water. However, there should be iron ore deposits that we can exploit to earn a bit of extra money and to produce tools. Yep, there and over there as well. There are five wells total to get the dry spell metal you have to go buy each five now what I'm going to want to do is just to connect you don't actually have to intersect with this you just have to get close enough so we are going to take advantage of that and now yep that should be good enough so we want to try to make the shortest straightest track possible Anyway, what I'd like to also do is set up the freight station over here. And the white area represents the catchment area. Catchment area is, of course, for... Yep, right there. What this means is that cargo from here will get automatically transferred here without actually having to put any trucks on the road. So it's a good idea to maximize that. We're going to build that there. Connect this onto here. And now I'm going to want to put signals. Signals you want to put on the right side of the tracks, depending on the direction your train is going. So if you're going in this direction, you throw it on the right side. If you throw it on here, it'll be for trains going the other direction want to put a second signal here let's put a freight station down at the other end and we are going to right about there down to 1.92 million and actually just to make sure yep that's in range Sometimes when you put these down, if you're too far away, even though when it says when you're putting it down, it's within range, it might turn out to not be. So it's always a good idea to check. It's annoying. Very, very annoying. Anyway. Go to there, and then you curve in. This tells us the speed on each section of the track. 57 will be more than enough. Our best engine will, of course, be 45 kilometers an hour, so it doesn't really matter. Now, what I'm going to do is over here, we are going to build a spur line. We are going to put a train 
depot or depot, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And we are going to buy a train. We are going to go with the General. It is faster and it can carry more. I'm going to put two gondolas and a boxcar. You know what, I kind of want another gondola. And we are going to set this to this new line here, there, over to here. You're going to call this the Laramie Iron and Tool. Where's the train? There it is. We're actually going to have this wait for a full load. Speed it up. And we have here, this is not being used. question over here how much money is this line making you know what buy road vehicles let's buy a couple of those we're gonna set it to Shan Green we have 16 six hundred dollars in the bank right now we can't let that go below 250k Otherwise, we do not get the Happy Investors. This is the only mission. I don't know about the European mission. But this is the only mission where you can't go below a certain amount. Anyway, we have a question mark here in Rollins. It is rumored that a huge nugget of gold is buried somewhere in the wasteland before us. The first settlers are said to have buried it somewhere out in no man's land while on the run from gunslingers. An aging saloon girl in Laramie knows more. All right. And this thing has 20 iron ore. Nice. So what we can do is we can have this load if available. Now I'm not going to be doing any building or digging until we get this load in. Yeah, when I, I missed the happy investors because this train didn't get here in time. I got went down to 250k, which sucked. The huge nugget is buried in the desert, says the lady in the saloon. That is, of course, incredibly vague. However, she also seems to think that the Indians might have already found the nugget and then reburied it, as in their minds, gold cannot be eaten. Alright. Follow the clue right over here. A small Indian boy who was evidently better disposed towards us than his father's has whispered the following to one of our people. In the mountain that the sun kisses goodnight and where the shadow of the great tree pierces the heavy rock, you will find nothing that can be eaten. What is that supposed to mean? That is a riddle, of course. And in the mountain that the sun kisses goodnight. So that would be in the west because the sun sets in the west. We know that Shan is over here. Our destination is over there. And we are heading west, so obviously, where is the Indian village? The Indian village is over here. So somewhere in the west of this village, which is not over here. I know where the location is, but uh, yeah. To the west, there is a tree that is piercing a heavy rock. Somewhere like right here. That makes sense. We can confirm by clicking on that, and that brings us right here. All right. Well, what I'd like to do right now, we can just skip that for now, and I just want to go back to the train. I paused it because I wanted to check to see how much this load would be worth. And 208k, nice. Oh, 
And we got some tools. You know what? I am going to full load if available, and I want to have this thing returned back to Laramie Sightings. And I'm going to hope that it produces enough tools to make this worthwhile. With the 21 ore that we hauled there, it should be good enough. Yeah, 10k. What is its running cost? Running cost is 198 per year. What's that divided by 12? About 15 per year. You paid about 10 in running cost, so yeah, that's about 60%. Although it will go lower. Five tools. Six tools and seven tools. One more tool. One more tool. There we go. Anyway, we'll just set that to load if available. Usually, the first run I have it set to full load just so that the game isn't sending the train because it's about. I think it's an eight month trip back and forth. Anyway, over here at this station, we have 35, 36 iron ore waiting. So yeah, about that. Anyway, what I would like to do, since this station is not connected to anything over here, we need to get the tools over to these commercial buildings. So what I'm going to want to do, and this is a little bit of an exploit. Uh, bus stops. We're going to connect this. Uh, it can be anywhere. Yep, we'll want to have it right there. And the reason this is an exploit is because trucks shouldn't be able to deliver to bus stops. Freight trains should not be able to deliver to passenger stations, but they can. It's a bug that was in the game, and it was found during beta testing, and all the beta testers, or at least most of the beta testers, wanted the bug kept in. They liked the fact that rather than having to have a truck stop over here to deliver to, they could just deliver to a building or a bus stop. Because if I wanted to have this truck stop here, it cost me uh, 400 and something thousand dollars to bulldoze those buildings so I could put this in. Compared to the, uh, what was it? Dollar 20 or 1,200 for a bus stop. <laughs> and even then, the price of a truck stop, or that's a, yeah. A bus, the cost of a truck stop is about 8 to 10k, so yeah, how about that? It's a lot of people's self interest. Anyway, what I would like to do is I'd like to build. Yeah. We're just going to throw it right about here. And we are going to buy a road vehicle, horse wagon, new line here. Over to here, and we're going to call this uh, Rollins Tools. And yeah, I don't like the fact that, and actually, we are going to set this line full load any. I don't like the fact that the uh, developers bowed to the preferences of the uh, yeah beta testers because it makes absolutely no sense. People says it does, but no, it doesn't make sense. 
Anyway, uh, how much are we making? 26.1k, 17. It's a little bit of extra money, so what I'm going to do, yeah, we're going to. Let's buy a couple more of these. I don't think it pays for itself, at the, least, least the vehicles, but it's a little bit of extra money. It costs only like 13k to build one. So, yeah, I'll get that. 34 still sitting here, and uh, 21, it's fine. And what was that? No! You're supposed to be... You're supposed to drop off the tools. Oh, seriously? That train was supposed to drop off the tools here. But I have a feeling because I did not actually get this set up before it left the station. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Why are you... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. vehicles. Maximum waiting time. Unlimited. Don't be going. You don't have any tools. You're not hauling anything. I don't I want I don't want you wasting my money and your time doing a useless pointless run when you could otherwise not be. So yeah about that. Anyway we are going to want to think about Extending this, although I do want to keep an eye on my money. And we'll just go like that. And there we go. 666k. hold off because I want to give this plenty of time to sort itself out. Anyway, we are going to go in search of the Golden Nugget. And if you dig right around here on this side of the rock, you should be able to find it. without spending too much money. It's true, we found it, our treasure. It's best to keep our find a secret so we don't get any enviers sniffing around the place. And that is how much, there we go. Serious gold nugget. That is how much digging we had to do to find. Anyway. We have another one here. And I... Really? It didn't drop all the tools off. Why? Anyway, what I'm going to do is we are going to set up another truck station here. And I am going to set up a bus stop right about there. We're going to go with a depot, depot, what have you. Horse wagon. Bye. We are going to create a new line there to there. RF Laramie Freight. 
It is 1867 and at this point in time what I'm going to do is take a break here. I want to end this a little bit sooner, but uh, yeah, that will be that. We are making our way onwards to Evanston. I just want to let the quantity of tools build up just a bit. We have 19 sitting there and we have one sitting here, so yeah, that's a little bit annoying. I think we might have, yeah, we definitely have enough tools. But come back next time for more Transport Fever. First mission for the America campaign. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.